And boy, did it feel like fall out there today and even tonight. It's feeling very chilly out there. Certainly want the light jackets on. Uh, making sure you keep the dogs inside. They're probably a little cold out there hanging out uh, again. Carbondale live. Look, we're dealing with dry conditions out there today. Uh, those cold fronts moved on by. We're dealing with very dry uh, atmospheric right now. So dew points around 43 that humidity around 58%. So you're not feeling any humidity out there. Uh, we're at 58 degrees right now. A northerly wind around seven miles per hour. So yeah, when those winds uh, get gusting, especially today or early in the morning, it certainly feels a much chillier. Already at 47 in Mount Vernon right now, still sitting at 56 in Dixon Springs, 58 in Carbondale, 57 in Cape Girardeau, 56 for Poplar Bluff. A little bit warmer down towards Kennett. You're at 63 right now, but all of us going to be heading down into the 40s tonight and into tomorrow morning, so certainly one of the coldest nights we've seen in quite some time here. Tonight we stay chilly, uh, but we do say clear. Sunday we'll have a really cold morning out there, but it'll be an exceptional day. Similar to today, temperatures only getting into the mid 70s and again, low humidity, not dealing with anything like that. So full sunshiny conditions, expecting a gorgeous Sunday afternoon. You certainly want to stay outside for that. Next week, though, we do see a gradual warm up. Still temperatures staying in the 80s, but that humidity will start to pick up as well. Futurecast, I'll tell you what, there's not much to show you here. We're talking clear skies for the rest of the evening and overnight. And even as we get into the day on Sunday, not expecting to see many clouds out there. A couple fair weather cumulus potentially, but other than that, we stay clear. Your Storm Track 3 app certainly something you still want to download and have ready to go because Things certainly could be changing as we head towards late next week. We'll take a look at that here in a second, but that drought monitor. Yeah, we've been talking about how dry those conditions have been recently, and you can see that latest update last Thursday showing us that that moderate drought has now extended across western Kentucky, northwest portions of Tennessee, a lot of southeastern Missouri, abnormally dry here across much of southern Illinois. So yeah, that drought is certainly expanding across our region and with the fact that we won't get much in the way of rainfall over the next little bit, it's not going to help. What could help though is a potential tropical system out in the Gulf that develops here later on this week. And as we head towards Friday and even into later into Saturday, we could see a moisture plume from that helping to give us at least a little bit of that water across our area. Seven day forecast showing you we stay beautiful here for your Sunday. Mostly sunny skies continue for Monday. We start slowly warming things up. We're talking low 80s for Monday into the upper 80s and eventually low 90s by the time we get to Wednesday. Staying dry though before those clouds really start to pick up on Thursday. And then those uh, good chance of showers with that system coming out of the Gulf for Friday and Saturday. Not looking like a lot of storms, but certainly could be beneficial with how much lack of rain we've had over the past couple of weeks. All right. Thank you so much, Nick. Yeah.